everybody, Josh from Alien 3D here. Um, just want to do a video real quick. My buddy Greybeard did a video he released yesterday, and it was really cool because it's something I've been wanting to do, and that is creating a custom skirt for your prints. And he did it in Tinkercad and Cura, and I don't use either one of those, so I wanted to do it in Fusion 360 and Simplify 3D. And I thought I came up with a pretty easy way to do it. And again, this is Greybeard's idea. I'm just kind of stealing it. I did get his permission to release this video for the Fusion 360 and the Simplify 3D version. So we're going to go in here and pull up our programs. And I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, so what we're going to do is load up Fusion 360. Then we're just going to use a two-point rectangle. And I like to do it from the top view. Choose the plane. Now my bed is 235 by 235. So what I do is I go a little shorter. And I'm going to go to 230 by 230. And I started... At one negative 115 negative in 115 so that the box is centered to the stage we want to right click and extrude and you want to do this to your layer height that you're printing at which for me is going to be 0.2 then just hit enter then we go up to here to sketch and then text and then I'm going to choose my top plane of my box just click anywhere and we will go alien 3d and the height I'm going to go with 15 millimeters it's a centimeter and a half we'll see how that works out and uh, you can always make it bigger if you want and then my font that I use for my company is Audio Wide. It's a free Google font. And then we'll go ahead and flip this over. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. So I can drag this down. We'll leave a little bit of space from the corner. And then you want this to overlap just a little bit. You don't need too much of an overlap. And then right click and oops, hit OK first. And then right click and explode text. And then we're going to select each one of our letters holding shift. Get all the little pieces here. Then we'll right click again and extrude and this time since it's on top of the box we just created we're gonna go a negative 0.2 that way it'll put a hole all the way through our little box and then what you'll see are these islands and they won't I mean they'll still print but they won't do what we want and do that whole single line skirt so what I'm going to do is just use a bunch of boxes, I'm sorry, uh, two point rectangles, and then choose the top of our box again, I'm going to zoom in, we'll pick a corner, go to the other side, and then the width here, as Greybeard explained, you want it to be twice your nozzle width, which I am using 0.4. And just to add a little bit of space, we're going to go with a 0.9. So that's half a millimeter each line, larger than our nozzle. Hit enter, right click, oops, select, right click, negative 2, I'm sorry, negative 0.2. And then that will seal in that. We got another island here. Now, when you're doing these for your letters, you can pick where you like best to put your.
closing blocks. Point 0.9, select, extrude, negative point 0.2, enter. Let's see, this E here, instead of putting, because I know this is going to be wider than point 0.9, Instead of putting a block here and, and leaving a gap, I'm just going to close this entire gap out. Point nine one nine. Point nine one nine. Oops. One point nine one nine. It's one thing that bothers me about Fusion three sixty. It doesn't always snap, and it could be something I'm doing wrong. Negative point two, and then that will actually cut that out, making that a solid letter. And let's see, we'll put this one here. And I think we just have our D left. This one at the top. And our final extrude. Everything should be solid here. Our letters and our build plate. Now we just need to select, oh, why is this not sealed? Alright, let's see which one that is. I'm going to have to redo that one. Alright, I'm going to delete that from the timeline. And this, delete that from the timeline. Get rid of that. Let's try that again. There we go, it's sealed. So now when you select it, everything should be selected. You can just go up to Make, 3D Print. We will turn off the Send to Print Utility. Click OK. Just override my practice one. And then we're going to pull up Simplify 3D. You'll see I have Greybeard already in here, but we're going to remove him for now. I'm going to import the custom skirt. Then we're going to place surface on the bed, center and arrange, zoom in a little bit. Oh. No, it's every single time. I wish programs would all, you know, just sync up so the click and drag and everything is the same button. Anywho, so we've got our model here. What we're going to want to do is go into the process settings. And we're going to go to layer. And we're going to drop our top solid layers to zero, bottom solid layers to zero, outer perimeter one shell. Change this to base mode. And then we're going to click. Oh, I'm going to do the infill down to zero just to make sure. We're going to click OK and prepare to print. Yes. All right, now you'll see the other skirt is here. Let's go back into our process settings, go to additions, remove the skirt, click OK. Prepare to print again. Alright, there we go. Now you'll see this line here, that's my purge line. And then we've got our skirt here. And looks like all the lines came out good. So we're going to save this G code. Yeah, I'll just replace my test one. And then we will open up Notepad.
Why not? Choose all files and then choose our G code file. Now you'll see here all this extra data that's just commented out. You want to go through that. And now my start G code, as you'll see, ends in naming my printer on the LCD. So we're going to want to look for that, which is right here. Now this is the start of the process and the start of layer one. So we'll go ahead and grab from layer one and we're going to go down and to the layer end. And we'll just cut that. I use control X. I'm not sure what it is on a Mac. So that is our starting and ending code. You can go ahead and get rid of that. And then in your start script here, we'll do the semicolon start skirt, control V to paste, semicolon and skirt. Then that should be our skirt code in there. Click OK. Now we'll remove this. And let's import Graybeard. Okay, got Graybeard there. I'm going to reset my process settings. I'm going to switch to another one and then go back. I'm using Filament Frenzies code for the GTEC A10M. This is his two color profile. I made it down to one color profile and then I have his two color up here. So now we are going to go to additions and turn the skirt off. Go ahead and turn the infill down so this will generate quicker. Click OK. Prepare to print. And the cool thing about Simplify 3D is that <clears throat> it will actually show a preview of your start code as well. And apparently we did something wrong. What did we do wrong, guys? I reset the process. Duh. Alright, let's do this again real quick. Start skirt. Paste. and skirt. Reset your process first and then paste in your code. Click OK. Prepare to print. And there we see our skirt. And let's see if I uh, play this. Here's our purge line. And it's jumping around our skirt, and there we go, drawing our letters. Let's speed that up a little bit. Well, it slows down over the corners. It must be a slicer setting of some sort. And there we go. We have our custom skirt before it starts printing. So I definitely want to thank Graybeard for coming up with this idea and using it in Tinkercad and Cura. Thought uh, also thank you for permission. I did ask Graybeard if I could create this video based on Fusion 360 and Simplify 3D. So I hope it helps somebody out there. Go check out Graybeard's video if you use Tinkercad or Cura. And uh, thanks, everybody. Peace out.